In this video, I'm going to cover how to capture random events using triggering and show the results in instant replay on the Fluke scope meter. To start with, I've got a bare probe here. If I touch it, I'll generate some signals that are just flying by. Let's make some adjustments to my time base and my attenuator. I'm going to start by changing my volts per division to about two volts per division. So I've got something I think will be about the right height. Maybe. I'm going to change my time base, slow it down slightly. That looks pretty good. Now let's go to trigger. We'll go to manual with the F3 key and move the level up slightly above my baseline. I'll come to trigger options with the F4 key and select edge trigger. Use the enter key. I want to change from free run, which lets the scope run all the time, to on trigger, where it waits for a trigger event. With that done, I'll close the window and I should be ready. I'm going to jack that gain up just a little bit more. And there you can see some events that are coming through the scope. Now I can do several of these and then come to my instant replay and play them back with the F3 key. They kind of fly by, but you can stop at any point in time and use the previous next keys to select one. Then we can turn on our cursors. We have two cursors initially that are set up to measure delta time and delta volts. You've got your voltage up here and your time up here. The first cursor with the arrows, I'll move to the start of the waveform. I'll switch to the second cursor by pressing the F2 key. Now I've got control of this one. I'll bring it to the end of the event and I can see the delta time, 51 milliseconds between those two points and the difference in voltage as well. If I wanted to know the frequency, I could press the F3 key to toggle from time to one over time and actually see the frequency at 19.53 hertz. To measure voltage differences, I can also switch my cursors to vertical cursors. The bottom cursor is now being controlled by my arrow keys. Pull that up, switch cursors with F2, pull the top cursor down, and now I can measure the peak to peak voltage, 2.02 volts peak to peak on that particular signal. And that's how you capture random events and use instant replay to analyze on the Fluke scope meter.